Hello everyone, and welcome back to Loading Screens. Also, Deadly Premonition. Documents but, from a case that happened 50 years ago. God, my outfit looks tan or bad. Let's play still. along with the old man for a little longer, shall we? Zach, that means we need to head for the Sheriff's Department. Yes, that, that's what it means. Well, for progressing through the story anyway. Oh, gee, since I since I wasted time, apparently we don't really have too much time to actually get there. Only two hours. But my defense, I had to do that side quest, and though he wasn't in there, so meh. So basically, <laughs> why start pressing the C button? Change field button. So basically, what we've learned in the last episode is the Rainco Killer was basically potentially a communist that was murdering people in this town. But. No idea exactly on that. But that was like 50 years ago. So a new one popped up, and these seeds apparently legends that if you kill someone after eating the seeds, you can become immortal, and that's apparently what the new rank of is doing, and doesn't explain why they're seeds in the victims. Doesn't explain a lot of things. But anyway, we're going to go get the records now. Also, this. Because, you know, everyone uh -huh. likes this. I still have no idea what Thomas is. Hey there, cutie. Oh, you just can't stay away, can you? Well, I keep damaging you my You don't car, have to say so. a thing. I can tell you've come for the special service. <laughs> Ooh. Bubbles. <laughs> Washing cars is fun. Shiny. Mm -hmm. Looks pretty. <laughs> Yep. I'll give you the special set. We know. So yeah, still can't get your car into out tomorrow. But for now, to the police station. Still no idea what Thomas is. Maybe shown up in the time that I've been spent. Who was that? I have no idea. Looking back behind me is so, dangerous. Where shall we go next? Okay. Turn. Carefully turn. Hmm. That'll do. Nah, I wish that there was more of a brighter pink. Like a hot pink. Or something. It just doesn't stand out that much. I mean, the tie's nice, but hearts on it and stuff. But yeah. Can there are the show really documents here that the FBI doesn't even have? What do you think, Zack? I don't even think about it. It's been a while since I heard the Whispering Song. 
York, I told you. That's nothing more than local folklore. Harry said that he was there. The raincoat killer is a phantom, made up to scare children long ago. I can't believe you fell for that from Harry, of all people. I agree with George. Harry likes to play with people, play with their minds, too. I noticed. George, Emily, of course I don't believe him word for word, but you won't mind if I at least try to confirm that he's wrong, will you? <laughs> well then, can you look for the files by yourself? I'm still looking for Thomas. No, technically you're sitting Very well. at a desk. Emily, open the filing room for him. I'm sorry, what? They're here too, Zach. This might mean we're getting warmer to what we need. Great. The police station has become this. Is nowhere safe? Probably not. Anyway, I have a guitar. I have a guitar. I guess we have to start profiling then. I, I, I'm not sure. Firing cabinet? Did the raincoat killer get the files? Is that what I'm trying to establish? Too much noise. We're still missing a vital piece of the puzzle. So the Rinko Kira has the files. Wonderful. Oh well, I can push these buttons for a bit. And hope I don't crash or something stupid. I want first aid kit. Um, hi. <laughs> oh, that was silly. Ah, here we go. Nineteen fifty cents. Space alone is too conspicuous. Someone removed something. You got broken safe. Now then, time to start profiling yet again. So yeah. The archives. Not exactly sure what that is. Fire cabinet. Technically, that wasn't. Was that really 1950 cents they opened? Uh, I don't think that was. <sighs> it's like something in the 19th century range, actually. Still hiding an enemy in hell. That was a pretty good game. I'll give you that. Yay, boards. Cause you know, I, I so totally need boards. Yeah, yeah, I can totally get behind this. Screw 
shoot things. Oh, you put on those that. I figured that was going to happen. I'm pressing A and D. I'm pressing A and D. That's a problem though. Cool down between attacks. I mean, that's locked. Yeah, uh, wait, that's an edge door, never mind. Don't want one of these doors. Okay, this is bad. Move. Great. Amazing. Nice shot. Great. Yes, bullseye. Nice shot. First I can't. <laughs> I'll take the boats. But it's like, wait, what do you mean magnum boats? Do they seriously have magnums? Or am I getting a magnum here? I might actually get a magnum hell. My problem though is it uses ammo. <laughs> like, I need that. I carry like search boards and stuff for something silly like that. I'm expecting those wall guys. Yes. Bullseye. Oh, hi there, buddies. Yes, great. <sighs> God damn it. I just hear too, you douchebag. Personal space. Yes. Bullseye. Nice shot. Nice shot. Nice shot. Bullseye. Nice shot. Bullseye. Amazing. Okay, so. Amazing. Stop that. Drops of water, eh? Well, time to start profiling yet again. Okay, so not sure what's going on now or hill. Okay, so nineteen fifty six is on the right. Looks like he's opening 1960. Oh, 
not sure 1962, maybe. <sighs> Guns growing on me. I mean, I like the Magnum, but yeah, that whole four-shot thing. You know, in situations where you're reloading and you don't have the space, and yeah, this gun just basically all you have to do is point and shoot, and hopefully. You land the mouse cursor on top of them. Amazing. Oh, so where's my guitar? Our guitar's not bad. I mean, yeah, as long as you don't get surrounded or the enemy gets the free first attack. I guess the last clue I need. Hmm? Probably. Yep. Well, the raincoat kill will pop out. Probably. It's been a while since I've had to fight him, after all. With the dodging. Oh god, the dodging. But now, time to start profiling. Okay, so flashlight. Ah, he was dropping seeds as he walked along. Nineteen sixty three, I think, actually is. Yeah, nineteen sixty three is the one he opened. Zack, looks like we need to continue our search for the documents. What? It, it, it's just going back to normal. Well, George, here we go. I'll get right to the point. It looks like someone else has just removed the documents I'm looking for. Huh? Removed? The cabinet looks like it had been forced open. That's impossible. No one could break into there. No, Emily. There is one person that can access that room at any time. You don't mean Thomas? It's too early to speculate. And profiling is my job, remember? Oh, is there a More importantly, Thomas Emily, now? could you get me a coffee? A fresh one, if possible. Coffee? At a time like this? <laughs> Why now? I need to do. Please, this is very important. I, I need to bring some coffee for my... and bring some milk on yeah, the side. Yeah. Zach, you know something, don't you? I'm getting us some coffee. So tell me what you know. Now then, we must foresee the future in the coffee. Ooh, ah. Zach, this is amazing. Even the taste of her coffee is thrilling. 
to say the least. What? <laughs> no, nothing. This isn't the cup that Thomas always uses for me, is it? I'm sorry about that too, then. I just used a cup that was nearby. You have a problem with that? A problem? Not at all, my dear Emily. The coffee is perfect. Well, okay, taste aside, this cup certainly is perfect. <laughs> I... The beer fish were buying at Velvet Falls. George, Emily, we're going to Velvet Falls. There's something waiting for us there. I can feel it. You're... Are you joking? You're trusting your cup? No, Emily. Going to a waterfall just might be a good idea. In feng shui, a waterfall is known to be a source of power. Even if we find nothing there, I'm sure it will give us some power. Thanks for the vote of confidence, George. And don't forget to bring a fishing rod. Oh, God. All right. I'll go get it. Fishing? Are you too serious? George, do you have a net? Great. Now I have to do the fishing mini game for a story thing. We're doomed. Sure got the legendary rod while I was at it, but yeah, I kept crashing trying to go into his house. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. But now apparently we're directing the blame towards Thomas. Hmm. Your Enko cure. And fishing. Did you know? Why not? Zack, I hope we can catch a big one. Just in case you didn't know the how to do the fishing minigame. Oh. I guess I have to use the normal one. This is probably scripted anyway, so... I sure miss the whistling song. Probably my favorite song in this game. Uh, I think I need to land on the fork. Oh god. But instead I got ammo. Zach, this doesn't look like the documents we need. Oh Try my again. god. This is going to suck. Uh, I don't want to do this. Because, yeah, here's the thing about the fishing game. I could try to do this, get the cards and everything, but at the same time, it's basically the slot machine thing. Come on. There we go. That better be why I'm after. Good fishing, Zack. We've caught something to brag about now. In all the history of the FBI, I'm probably the only one who fished out documents thrown into a waterfall. Don't you think so, Zack? I just don't believe it. Files. From a waterfall. Well, yeah, it wasn't too bad, I suppose. For eternal life and eternal power, make four human sacrifices on rainy nights, each after eating the seeds. Make sure the sacrifices eat the seeds too before they die. Sacrifice must also not speak while they are being killed. So count their tongues. What does that all mean? It's called the legend of the new raincoat killer. George, have you ever seen this handwriting? <gasps> yes. It's Thomas's. 
Dun, dun, dun. George, I need to take these documents to Harry. He said he'd tell me everything once I take the docs to him. But those are classified. I can't allow a civilian to view them. Especially that deranged old goat who owns most of the town. I agree with George. Harry is... How can I put it? He might be dangerous. You don't need to worry. You said it yourselves, didn't you? There has never been a mass murder case in this town. That means these documents pertain to a case that never actually happened. Just look at it as though they never actually existed, either. Ridiculous. York, I'm sure you've got a plan or something in mind. Okay. You have my approval. George, are you sure? Emily, we need to continue looking for Thomas. Our search may just have become a hunt. Yes, get on it. I'll go see Harry alone. Okay. Everything's pointing towards Thomas now. Instead of Nick, but still. I wouldn't believe it if I hadn't seen it for myself. But Thomas? There's got to be a rational explanation for this. Hmm. Zach George has started to change. I think the deaths of Becky and Diane had a deep effect on him. I guess this town truly is without a king now. So if we take note of that, one, two, three. Yeah. Now just one more person for him to kill, apparently. The four's an odd number, I thought it'd be like five. I mean, that'd be what, Carol and then... Emily. Okay then, Zach. Let's pay Harry another visit and get to the bottom of all this. I have to admit, I do like spending a bit of time investigating alone. I'm getting a bit sick of being told that I'm either too slow or too fast. You agree with me, right, Zach? I just hope I don't crash. Oh, we're hell. Oh god, that means I have to go all the way over the hell. I'd edit this out, but eh, I, I should be able to get the out case in. I don't know what he's up to. I still don't really trust case in, honestly. I mean, those saplings, those seeds, and he can make them grow. Suspicious, hmm? if you think about Nothing. it. Nothing. Just my imagination. I'm not sure how Thomas pertains to it all. I mean, George seems a tad suspicious because of that story to told us about. I think it, it would give him a motive if you think about it. Not liking women because of his mother and troubled past and. That deal, probably. Eh, deals. That eh, makes sense. Out in the country town. And my car is taking a lot of damage. These roads aren't made for driving on. But could you imagine just trying to walk all the way through here? You know? Yeah, that would be tedious. And I think after the next Harry meeting, I'll probably end the video again. Oof, as I sink through the road. So, where shall we go next? We're already 
working on going where we should go next. It's just narrow pathways and try and drive straight. Cars are only over half destroyed. Then I have a very touch and everything it takes damage. Bounces off the road it takes damage. <laughs> Not the most ideal mechanics to say the least. But anyway, driving straight, driving straight, mostly straight. Now I should have enough gas at least to get back to you gas station have a repair again. All these medals. But you know, why not? They <laughs> might just pay for the repair bill. Or the car might blow up before we even get back. Depends how long I could drive. Do I trust my driving? <laughs> Not really. Zach, did you want to go somewhere before we visit Harry? That's fine by me. Hmm. Well, honestly, this chapter's been a tad... I don't know, I would say uneventful, but yet... We did have to fight in the police station, so... Seems a lot of cat and mouse. Mr. Francis York Morgan, finally you have arrived. Yeah, yeah, yeah we know. We totally know. It's seriously the same thing again. Which way is he going to turn this time? Oh, he's not Looks here. like the next game is hide and seek. Huh? Oh. So that's how we're gonna play it. I might just end the video here then. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you all. Have a nice day.